Musculoskeletal injuries are the leading occupational injury for healthcare workers and one of the most frequent reasons for missed workdays. An estimated 25% of these injuries can be attributed to the work of manual bed repositioning. High friction bed pads are not designed for moving patients or residents. These are usually placed under the hips and buttocks, increasing the force needed to move the patient or resident. The increased exertion needed with bed pads to reposition immobile or highly dependent individuals can lead to neck, shoulder, and back injuries. Patients and residents are also vulnerable to discomfort. Friction and shearing forces and jarring repositioning maneuvers can have negative impacts on their well-being. To help solve this, your healthcare facility has purchased the Swift UltraSlide system. Comprised of the Swift slider and the UltraSlide bottom sheet, the system is a convenient way to reposition low mobility, highly dependent, or heavier individuals more comfortably and safely. Each component can be used individually in certain situations. The Swift slider can be effective on its own for lightweight, dependent patients or residents, and the UltraSlide bottom sheet can facilitate patient or resident's independence and mobility. It's important to know that these slider sheets are not meant for all situations. They're not intended to replace the use of ceiling lifts, though they can complement their use. Please refer to your facility's safety guidelines as to when ceiling lift use is recommended. The Swift slider is meant for sliding, turning, and repositioning. We strongly advise against using it to lift patients or residents. And people who can reposition independently will not need these sheets, but may still benefit from the added comfort and ease of movement offered by the friction-reducing UltraSlide bottom sheet. To begin, place the UltraSlide over the mattress as you would a normal fitted sheet. Place the Swift slider across the Ultra Slide bottom sheet with the color sides facing each other. You'll want to position the Swift slider so that it supports the person's shoulder to hip area. You can place a bed pad, if needed, on top of the Swift slider. Then tuck in the side flaps. The Swift Ultra Slide system is simple and convenient to use because it's always on the bed when you need it. For repositioning, we'll start with boosting a patient or resident up the bed. You'll need two healthcare providers. Begin by making sure the bed brakes are on. Place a pillow at the head of the bed to prevent possible injury. Lower the side rails and raise the bed to almost elbow height of the shorter caregiver. Always be sure the individual is positioned so that shoulders and hips are centered on the swift slider. Assist the individual as needed to bend at the hips and knees. This posturing prevents the heels from dragging during the reposition and reduces the load for the workers. Next, untuck the side flaps. There are two methods you can use. The first technique is the side-to-side -side weight shift. With caregivers facing each other, they gather and grasp the flaps close to the patient's or resident's body, with one hand at hip level, the other at shoulder level. Feet are placed comfortably apart. Elbows are kept close to their sides as they lean back and prepare for the move. By leaning gently back, the swift is pulled taut, helping to raise the patient's weight slightly from the bed. Caregivers repeat this process as many times as needed to finish with the hips positioned at the bend of the bed. The second method is called the rabbit ears technique. Caregivers on each side of the bed bunch up and grasp the upper panels of the swift. Then, in a walk stance, they shift their weight from front to back foot while keeping their elbows close to their sides. This helps ensure use of the stronger leg muscles rather than the weaker muscles of the upper body. This process should be repeated until the patient or resident's hips are at the bend of the bed. To finish, smooth out the swift slider sheet by pulling on diagonal corners. 
Then, tuck the side flaps under the mattress to secure it and keep the patient or the resident from sliding down the bed. You can also use the swift slider to move a patient or resident from supine, lying on back, to lying on one side or the other. First, ask or assist the individual to move his or her feet to the side, opposite the direction of the turn. At least one caregiver then grasps the swift to draw the individual to that side using a front-to-back weight shift. The same caregiver then passes the flap end of the swift slider over the patient or resident to the caregiver on the opposite side of the bed. The caregiver receiving the swift slider completes the turn by performing a front-to-back weight shift. The other caregiver can help by pushing on the individual's back and hip areas. Before elevating the head of bed, consider techniques to prevent undesired slippage of the patient or resident to the foot end of the bed. To stabilize the patient or resident's hips at the bend of the bed, use one of these options. One, raise the bed's knee area before or at the same time as the head of bed. Two, if there are no contraindications, tilt the bed slightly using the Trendelenburg feature head lower than feet, then elevate the head of the bed slightly. Repeat these steps until the bed is in a slight V-shape and the desired position is achieved. Always remember when assisting a person to sit or dangle on the bedside that he or she is on a low friction panel. Ensure that Swift is well tucked in under the mattress and that the bed is lowered to allow their feet to reach the floor before sitting up. The Swift Ultra Slide System. Repositioning made simple.